hungry liberal MP and Veterans Affairs Minister Kent Hare wants you to feel ashamed for not wanting to give the government more of your hard-earned money. Now, the carbon tax hit us last week here in Alberta, and to show his support for it, Kent Hare tweeted this. He said, Actually, I'm very proud to be paying for this tank of gas. It's my first fill-up since January 1. Now, January 1 was when the carbon tax came into effect here in Alberta. Kent Hare wants to shame us into feeling happy about forking over an extra $4 per tank of fuel in our cars. He's proud to pay for it. Now, I'll be watching to make sure he actually did because as an MP, Kent Hare, he can charge Canadian taxpayers for the mileage and expenses in his car. And boy, do they ever. Chris Wilson reported last week about how Environment Minister Catherine McKenna charged the taxpayer for nearly 24,000 kilometers that she racked up on her car. That's pretty high carbon for a low carbon climate Barbie. Uppity liberal Kent Hare can preen for the camera, bragging about spending money that possibly isn't his and trying to bully you into feeling good about forking over more of your money that you can scarcely even afford. Alberta has 200,000 people unemployed right now. Calgary has a 10.3% unemployment rate. It's the highest in the country for five straight months in a row. And the employment income in Calgary is down $800 million. That's nearly a billion dollars missing out of the Calgary economy. But Cantaire is bragging about spending more money on gas. Can you get more out of touch than this? How clueless and insulting to the unemployed and struggling this all is. You know what Kent Hare makes per year? $251,900. He just gave himself a raise back in March as the unemployment rate was skyrocketing here in Alberta. Liberals like Kent Hare, they gave themselves a $4,400 per year raise. Seems legit. Now, I'm not one to attack on personal appearances. I mostly wear black t-shirts and I can hardly do my own makeup. But I'm not trying to shame anyone either. Kent Hare opened the door for me and I'm going to kick it down and strut right through it. So Kent Hare, while you're in the business of shaming people for their behaviors, you should figure out how to carbon tax the trip your shirt just took my eyeballs on. Because you'd be rich. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunreed. To learn more about the wacky authors of this new carbon tax here in Alberta, go to thedestroyers.ca and download my book.